Hello guys, how's it going? Captain Foley with you today. Good to see you guys. Welcome, it's a Captain Foley channel exclusive video. We're going to be looking at the new Hasbro Pulse Maverick figure. Let me just uh, pull something up here first before we look at that. Going to do an unboxing and um, just taking an overall look at the figure. Martin R says, I just triggered a Star Wars talk in my favorite Transformers Discord, and now there's a Transformers Live from one of my favorite Star Trek YouTube channels. Good to see you, Marvin. Um, well, the private channel from a host of my favorite Star Trek YouTube channel. And Colin is here as well. Welcome, guys. Um, not sure how many people I'll get for this. Um, I really should have done this on the Trek Yards page because I got a lot more subscribers over there, but... You know, it's it's nothing having to do with Star Trek at all, even remotely. So figured put on the Captain Foley personal channel. I was I gotta start putting more content on here that's exclusive to this channel. So here we are. I'm glad you guys could tune in and make it. I really appreciate that. So without any further ado, look what came in the mail today from Hasbro Pulse. It is the new Maverick. Look at that. Maverick Top Gun. Transformer figure. So we're going to take a look at this bad boy. And uh, the box is really nice. It's got the uh, markings on. I got my Top Gun shirt on, one of them. I might put the other one on later before the end of the, the stream. But yeah, so this just came today. This was sent out a few days ago from Hasbro Pulse. I've had this pre-ordered for quite a while now, but I'm a huge fan of Top Gun, a huge fan of Transformers, so it just made sense, and here we have it today. So, um, and like I said, it was mailed out a few days ago. It's kind of been sitting um, at the FedEx Depot, which is literally <laughs> three or four blocks away from my house. So for two days, I was looking at it sitting in the little depot with my house within range of the map. And it's like, really? Can I just go across the street and get it? Anyway, it finally came today. So there you go. Our Marvin R, my Maverick is still showing no sign of release and no movement on Gigawatt either. EB Games in the mall has like four Gigawatts, um, which is the um, Back to the Future DeLorean Transformer figure. So EB Games has them here. I could go buy one right now, but it's $54. This one um, was about the same price. Um, I think total the shipping and everything came to $81 Canadian, which a little bit pricey. I expected it to be bigger than what it is. You know, it's about the size of a hand, so. Um, but very detailed F14 figure, grungy, dirty looking. It's got the 114 on the side there with Maverick and Goose. So we're gonna open it up and take a look at what comes with it and just have a fun little hangout right now, so. I already got it pre-sliced to open the packaging. So I just I'm keep the packaging as good as I can because I do like the packaging. On the back, it's got call sign, Maverick, roll, interceptor, rake, lieutenant, special weapon skills, going vertical, weaknesses, jet wash, mission code name, Tango Foxtron. It's like, really? Tango Foxtron? And you got a view of him coming into land. Let me um, switch up the way we do this here so that you guys can get a better. Um, okay. Put this. I'm going to put it like that so you guys can see what I see as I see it when I open it up. First time trying this, so bear with me, guys, for this style, so. Pull that bad boy out. Got the nice box. I do love the, the look of the figure, though. It's got the Maverick helmet. So. Oh, look at that. There's the instructions. There's him in robot mode. We'll try to transform this. I hate transforming transformers. I usually leave them in 
their best form and then just leave them. But I should have actually got two of these, one that I could leave in robot mode and one that I can leave in F14 mode. He does come with a little volleyball. P -p -p playing, playing with the boys. Do, do, do. Um, no buzzing the tower. You never leave your wingman. No dating instructors. Volleyball mandatory. Shirts optional. It's classified. I could tell you, but then I'd have to kill you. It looks like it comes with a bike, too. The instructions are a little mangled there, which is a bit of a shame. I don't know how that happened. But... All right, so... <clears throat> There's the, oh, there's all well, the bikes to scale too. There's a little tiny bike and the volleyball and then his hands there, so. Let's see what you guys are saying. We've got nine people watching. Everybody hit that like button. button. Um, it's a nice size if nothing else. Eating cat, my Maverick is still showing one sense of release. Yep, EB Games is a little too far from my home. In jet mode, add a few red stripes and it could easily be passed for Starscream. Although Starscream was an F-15, not an F-14. So, how dare you, Colin? Marvin R., anything other than Cyberverse and five-year-old movie generation figures is impossible to find in stores where I live. That sucks. All right, so. Where is the... So I got my trusty little snips. These are perfect for dealing with any kind of ties that you get. Let's see, the packaging's kind of angled. You got a little aircraft carrier deck there. These are just basically elastic, so it's not too bad. So what I might do, eh, I'll just snip them. So these snips are good for cutting these little elastics. They're also good for cutting the twist ties to get on toys. Makes it way easier to pull this stuff out of here. Because they make kids' toys impossible to get to these days. So there you go, you got the, the tower of the aircraft carrier there in the background. off the accessories here. All right. This is very hard to get out of here. There we go. All right, so we got the little bike. Oops, damn it. Anyway, sorry, there's Maverick's bike. I think it's contractually obligated that Tom Cruise has to ride a bike in his movies. Every one of his movies has a damn bike. I can't get the volleyball out of there. Come on, I'm gonna lose the goddamn thing. There we go, got it out. So there's a little volleyball with a little peg in it so you can hold it. Just get rid of the packaging for now. Get his hands out. So both hands. So you can see the pegs there to hold the ball with. Let me throw this stuff in the garbage. Yeah, these lives should really be <laughs> um, edited, but, or these not lives, these reviews should really be re edited, these unboxings, but that is a very accurate 
and good looking F14, guys. It's got some great weathering on it. Of course, as I pointed out already, it's got the 114 and uh, Lieutenant Pete Mitchell, Maverick, and maybe read it in the viewfinder there. There's Goose there. It's got the squadron back there, VF1. I almost don't want to transform it out of F14 mode. You got your little sidewinders here on the side right there. These are your AIM 54s. There are tanks. There's no Phoenix missiles on this thing. But you can see where the arms fold in. They actually did a pretty good job of making this look like a F-14, like that. Looks great. The only complaint I have is that there's no like landing gear, so you can't, you know, have it sitting with the wheels down. I do like that the wings are swept sweep wing. There's no one downside is there's no weathering on the bottom. It's just gray, as you can see. But the top has that weathered look. But yeah, that is, that's a great looking F-14 actually. All right, well, I guess the time has come for us to transform this thing, which I'm not looking forward to. So let me readjust this. so that I can chat with you fine folks while I transform this or attempt to. So the little things come out, which is really nice. There's the little weapons, pods, mounts. So it's come off so you can display it without that, obviously. This is an impressive looking F-14. Um, I don't think there's enough. Well, there is a little bit of lean on those fins. F-15s have them straight up and down. F-14s have them slanted. They slant like this a little bit, so. Back, there's the engines. 12 people watching, 11 likes. Guys, come on, somebody hasn't hit like. All right, so there's that. Is he Autobot or Decepticon? He is an Autobot. Troy Macy, Eagle Moss Hero Collectibles released today, an Enterprise D build-up kit. Yes, and I'm looking into getting that for you guys. It's something I can do for you guys. Um, Eagle Moss is a sponsor of Trek Yards, so we do get the ships and we do the reviews. So I've looked into getting that to build for you guys, so we'll see if that'll become a thing. No buzzy in the arc, can't have that. Mainly pre-ordered Maverick for the near-perfect F-14 mold. Yeah, me too. I'm, I don't want to transform it into the robot, to be honest, but I think I should for you guys at least once. Um, it's rare to see a Transformers jet that sleek. G1 Seekers were nice and sleek in jet mode. I don't know, I think there's supposed to be a nose gear. Looks like there are hooks under the engine that can act as a landing gear. Let me see. It does look like there's a thing there for the nose gear, but... Oh, there is a nose gear. You're right. Eh, come on. Eh. Yeah, there is a nose gear right there. Not painted, but you see the wheel detail. And then... Um, the 
don't see. Well, it doesn't have it. It's just, it's the same height as this stuff, so it rests on those. But it looks a bit... Yeah, I think that's... I think that's the thing. Let me look at the instructions, and we'll see what we shall see in that regard. Yeah, there is no rear ones. I'll show you the first step there is the landing gear at the front, and then removing all of the accessories there. But that's what he looks like in robot mode. He looks very much like the original Macross um, guy. <sighs> Here's the thing. I don't know if I want to transform it, guys. Because I'll never get him back. <laughs> I've never been able to follow these fucking instructions. Sorry. Pardon my language. These friggin' instructions. Um, never have I been able to. Um, I just mess around with it till I figure it out and have it look like it did on, on the box. Um, but there he is there holding his guns and his volleyball. It's a very cool looking figure. So, it's tough for me guys. I don't want to transform them. I really don't, because eh. I always seem to see one more like than you. You're in the future, maybe. Well, we have 12 likes now with 10 viewers, which is awesome. So thank you, guys. It has tail hooks. There's a hint of G1 jet fire there, all right. Now I need a Decepticon as a black Meg, or precisely a black F5. Yeah, well, I just, I love the uh, sweep wing too. Like, I never liked the F-14 um, with the delta wing, like the like that. Never was a fan of that. And I find a lot of the, uh, I have a pewter, a pewter F-14 from the Franklin Mint, which is like that on the stand. And I'm like, no, I prefer the, the wings out. Maybe not fully out, but. I, I do prefer them out. Like my Sky Striker, I like like that, you know. Um, it doesn't have a tail hook, really. Um, those do come down, though, to, to let the uh, engine parts out. Which are the feet. Um, but it has the arms there. There's no tail hook thing, but... Guys, I'm conflicted. I don't know if I should transform it or not. In the real one, there's a big radar dish right there. And it swings out sideways, not... Yeah. What do you think, guys? Should I transform it? Or should I keep it as an F-14? Because you know I want to keep it as an F-14. Should have got two. I really should have got two. God damn. Now I'm conflicted. What do you guys think? Keep it as an F-14, says Troy. Uh, well, I mean, it's Transformer. It can change back. It would just... I think it would take me forever and a year to get it back. And forth but so there it is I mean <clears throat> size wise it's not super big but I mean it's, it's a good size <sighs> let's see what you guys are saying um, Rosetta Allen hmm hello Rosetta how are you doing tonight my dear uh, Troy Macy, keep it as an F-14. Yeah. Marvin R., there are flip-out pieces under those panels, the little gray bits attached to the black exhaust. That's not where the landing gear are for this thing, though. Just leave it looks good. Go for it. We're seeing it in robot mode, and we all know how, how complicated the modded toys are to transform. I'm sure you can get it transformed back. 
that should be relatively simple. Okay, fine. I will transform it. I will do that for you guys. But let me see here. There's these things. Um, there's one on each side. But those are not landing gear. There's no way. The landing gear on this bad boy are right, should be right there. There's no way that they're making these landing gear. These go up like that for some reason. All right, you know what? I'm going to transform it. I'm going to do it for you guys. It'll be cool. This should be a goddamn blast and a half. All right. Let's take those guns off. Take the tanks off. If I can't get it transformed back, I'm going to find you all. All right, so... Those up. Okay, so now the arms come out. Swing these arms out. Ha, ha. Do, 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 do. These fold up. Boop and boop. Like so. And these come apart and out like so brings that up there like so. So far, so good. Uh, okay, yep, yep, yep. Those, these parts here, they go back and back like that. As you can see, as you can see, might leave them in robot mode. Who knows? I know what F-14s look like. I, don't, I wouldn't have any... I have lots of F-14s. I don't have a lot of this guy, so... All right, so everything there, leg-wise... Goes like so. Like So that goes like that. There we go. <laughs> Yuck. Dirty. Dirty, dirty, dirty. And the nose gets tucked away. Like so. The nose gets put up there, I guess. That's what it looks like. Yep. Okay. Actually, it might go even further than that. That. So now we got that going on. And these flip 90 degrees. So, so far, so good. This is not painful yet. This is working out pretty good. Um, together it says which I don't buy that for a second and oh there we go those spin down okay yeah we'll buy that there we go so we're down there like that now hands his hands <laughs> which are in there come out Oop, see there's his hands why does he have hands extra hands for holding the volleyball then because I can't see these being able to detach come on So both hands are out now. Like 
like so. Got that there. All right. And these turn. Well, yeah, I can adjust those at any time. There we go, like that. Sorry guys, like I said, these are a massive pain in the ass for me. Had them turn the wrong way, but there we go, we got them. Had to swivel them around, but we're good now, we're good now. It's all good, it's all good guys. So, yeah, um, I had them pivoted the wrong way, so I had the left hand on the wrong side and stuff, so. But uh, it seems to be fixed now, so we're getting there. We're getting there. All right. Okay, so now what? These are backwards, it's supposed to be like that. Maybe I had it the right way then. What the actual F? All right, hold on, hold on. Now it's flipping over the instructions already. So. That goes down now. Okay, okay. I might have to readjust these arms. Yeah, I think I had them right the first time. So we're going to turn those back like that. I had them right the first time. Then this flips down, which means... says probably than my face. Okay, so we got it from the side. It stays like that for now. So Okay, those slot into there. That's good. All right. All right. We're getting it. We're getting it. Got the pressure of all you people watching to keep me in check. Sorry I can't read your comments right now, but I'm a little bit busy. So if you're saying stuff and I'm missing it, I apologize. So there we go. He's looking, he's looking like he's, you know, coming along nicely. You know what I'm saying? Those go in there. Yes, 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 I got that. Um, let's look in there. Oh, that works out perfectly. Yes, 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 yes. Good stuff. Okay, now what? Yeah, nobody cares about that. All right, so now those come up, the little leg like, pieces. And these, oh, those are like his high heels, I guess. Because his feet now pop 
Oh, yes, that's what it is. Yep, 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 yep. All right. So this clicks in there, and then this comes down. He's, he's essentially wearing high heels or cowboy boots, I guess. Okay, so there's his feet. And then those close back up. Okay. I really like that those are on the front of his legs. that down see they're adding extra steps that you don't need like these things here they say to pull these out but they already pulled out when I put the top when I put them down like that so so then this goes down like that and covers there and then his head Somehow, that's got to go back and snap in there. Uh, okay, we're almost done here. We just gotta fin finalize this, because this little tab here, back here, that little pin for the back of his head has got a slot in there, which... I don't think it's possible. <laughs> yeah, I really don't think it's possible. Anyway, welcome to the world, Maverick. There is his face. There is his face. Front does say Maverick on it, which I'll, I'll have to use the other camera because it can zoom in. And that's it. That's actually a pretty simplistic transform. Honestly. Um, the only issue I'm having is that piece right there should be slotting into this back part but I can't find a way to to do that I probably did something wrong here how those go up oh uh, no no that's not right All right, guys, so almost there, almost there. Hmm, I'm fine with it looking like that. I, I don't think it needs to be any better than that. Um, it most definitely works for me, honestly. So, there is, I introduce you guys to Maverick. Kind of underwhelming as a robot. He's got these big hollow arms here. Um, big pegs on the front of his legs. I don't know. Um, I just wish I could get that head to fit properly. Like, it looks fine. You know? Um, huh. Anyway, it goes on to say that... These, his little 
Sparrow and Sidewinder pods go on his back. But I didn't. I just went under the couch. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's all fine. We're all fine now here. How are you? I know, wrong movie. I should be saying Need for Speed. Um, I could tell you. It's classified. I could tell you, but then I'd have to kill you. What were you doing there? Uh, negotiating. No, keeping up foreign relations. You know, giving him the bird. Yes. No, giving him the bird. You know, the finger. Yes, Goose. I know the finger. Uh, I'm, I'm sorry. I hate it when it does that. I'm sorry. So you're the one. Yes, ma'am. All right. So, yeah, that's, that's, that's him. Yeah, this one's very, very loose. Not great, honestly. The other one seems okay, um, but that's him there. Um, we are going to continue because we're going to put his guns together. So the pods, the fuel tanks actually do open up and they become Guns, I suppose that's what they are. Yeah. Yep, that's what they are. So, holding his gun, kind of a lame looking gun, honestly. I wish there was a way to combine these. Two. Maybe you could actually do that. No, can't do that. So he can either, he can carry both guns like that. I mean, you could probably put a gun. There goes that goddamn peg again. And you could have him carrying the guns if you wanted. Um, you could also put the, honestly, you could put the, those back on there like that, which is what I'm going to do. Because I want to, so no guns for him. He's not going to be a warrior. He's going to be a, a volleyball player. That actually looks better because it hides those pegs. So put those there. This goddamn thing keeps falling out though, which is not fun. And it's not like it's on the wrong side. just kind of loose you can put those on like that as well but they don't look as good like at all but meh meh it does fit better that way actually so there's that yeah i know i know I've, i'm a model builder i've dealt with enough loose pegs i know how to fix it yeah clearing and polish is a great way all right, so what I'm going to do is replace his hand and put him in the the oh there we go yeah so those slide off like that see they got a little thing there where you slide them on so we're going to replace his hands. Mm. 
with the volleyball hand. <laughs> Assuming I don't lose the fucking ball. Put him in his volleyball pose they got him in here, which is kind of a cool pose. It's like that. Yeah, there's something I didn't do right back here because I cannot get that to to lock in. Sorry guys, sorry I'm fighting with this thing. I don't mean to. So that's the pose they have them in. Kinda. Uh, I think I got his arm upside down. That's better. Turn that like so. There we go. So, push that like so. Have him holding the ball. Because I think that pose is kind of silly. Thanks for bearing with me, guys, through all this. That is kind of awesome that you would do that. All right, so I'm going to change the here now. There we go. So you can get a nice detailed look of his face. And see Maverick there. Oops. I'm going to fix those, though. Put them on the right sides. Not enough light to see a face. There, well, there is no face. Fine, Marvin, if you want to be like that. Let's point this down on the ground, then. There you go. Check that out. Maverick. It's the back of the helmet. Poop shoot. This just didn't stay down, pointing down like some of the Transformers I've seen over the years. You can also put his wings out if you really wanted to. Um, but those I think look better straight. I think those are better like that anyway. So there he is. For an auto body, he's got a very Decepticon look. Yeah, he definitely does. It's a fairly straightforward transformation, too. I'm sure I could change him back now. But... Let's put that up. I, I did something wrong here, though, because that peg right there, that's supposed to lock into the back there, and I cannot find a way to do that. That's something janky going on in the body here. Which I just I don't know what I did wrong. Oh, so these actually belong on the other side, like so. That looks a lot better. 
like so. But yeah, there he is, guys. And see, he just fell out again, for fuck's sakes. Hey. There he is. So let me... Just give me one second here, guys. I'm just going to take you guys off the tripod. Turn you around. There he is. There's the little bike. The little Maverick bike. Pug hair. ball with you. I will probably leave him as the robot, honestly. What scale would I say? I have no idea. I've never been good at guessing scales. Honestly, like I have no idea what scale I would say this was. Um... If you can tell by my thumb and the bike, if you can base it on that, but honestly, I don't know. But yeah, I like them without the guns, though. I do like the tanks there instead of being guns. And just holding the volleyball is just kind of funny to me. So... What I might do is put on the other hand, though. His original grippy hand. Hold on. Put you guys back in here. Look at that for a second. I just need to... Uh... My shirt has changed. It's another Top Gun shirt. Da -da 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 -da. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I didn't know which one to wear, so I thought I'd bring them both up. This needs to fit a little bit more snugly. I need to figure out what I did wrong in regards to that. But other than that, this is a pretty fantastic looking Transformer. And very happy with that. Like I said, I'm going to change this hand out. For his... Relaxed looking hand. And I'll leave the other one holding the... See, that's better. Leave the other one holding the volleyball. Challenging you to a game of volleyball. Oh man, one more game. No, I got something to do. I can't. Oh man, mother goose, you pussy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know it. Uh, I can't wait for Maverick to come out. Um, Top Gun Two it was supposed to be out in June or July of this year, and COVID messed that up for everybody. So. Um, but anyway, there you go. There's an exciting little look at this guy. And I'm glad I transformed him. I really am. I'm going to probably keep him as this for now. Like I said, once I pick a form, 
for them. I generally keep it in it, although I can see me transforming this one back and forth into an F14 a few times, trying to figure out what I did wrong up here. It's clearly there's something wrong, um, but I, I just can't figure it out for the life of me. Anyway, not really a big deal. You guys get the main gist of what's going on here. So anyway, we'll call that quits. So thank you so much, guys, for tuning in and watching. This has been fun. Um, and make sure you're subscribed to the channel for other unbox live unboxings like this. Live unboxings are usually pretty quick. Um, but this one, because it was a transformer and I had to transform it, turned out to be not so quick. So I apologize for the length of this, but make sure you're subscribed. I'm into a whole bunch of cool stuff. And if you're not, if you're a fan of Star Trek, by all means, check out Trek Yards as well if you haven't already. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, make sure you're subscribed to the channel. Click the notification bell icon. Lots of great stuff on this channel. Um, lots more to come as well. And uh, looking forward to seeing you all there. So until next time, guys, stay, stay, stay cool. Bye. I don't know what to say. Permission to buzz the tower. Negative Ghost Rider. The pattern is full. Anyway, see you later, guys. Have a good one.